Hello, YouTube. Hi, uh, I just want to talk about the Doctor Who episode on Christmas Day, Twice Upon a Time. Um, I've always been a, a big Doctor Who fan. Um, I don't really watch much television. Um, I, I watch more movies. Uh, but seeing it's uh, Pete Capaldi's last uh, goodbye, I just wanted to say something. I really wanted you to do one more season. Look, it's it's like the force. It's not balanced. Because we have two seasons with Clara. Uh, and we have a big gap, a year gap. Uh, and then there were two Christmas Day specials, which was good. And then we just have one season with Bill and Adol and Missy. You should have done one more. It's unbalanced. It has to be even. It just, it just won't be. Saying that, hello, Jodie Whittaker. I'm really looking forward to her being a doctor. Uh, because I did watch the Broadchurch. This is one of the few programs I did watch. I did really, really enjoy Broadchurch. Alright. The episode. Alright. I think it was really well written. I think Stephen Moffat is a good writer. Yes, we can all picture in our heads, yes, I would do it that way, yes, I would do it that way, but this way, whatever way. We all like to think that. We all like to think we can do a better job, but on this this story, and many stories, we did a good job. There's always a few niggly bits, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I like the story. It wasn't fast moving, it wasn't all action and stuff like that. It was more, uh, it was more focused on characters and emotions and there was a bit of comedy in it. Uh, from what I've read, people don't like the first Doctor being sexist. Let's talk about this for a minute. When we first saw the Doctor, uh, Sorry, just a little bit before my time, but I have seen a few clips and not. unfortunately a lot of things have been missing from the episode. But let's think back 50 odd years, that's the way society was. He probably would have got Polly into the TARDIS just to clean it. And the companions back then were, help me doctor, save me. Help that's what he was like. But today's women are more... Kickbox. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, that I like. Uh, so I think it was just portraying how much you can change in the fifty odd years since it first appeared. And don't forget the doctor's like the twelfth doctor is like fifteen year, hundred years older. So I just like to see that progression. So I think that was well done. I like Mark Gatiss's part. Um, it was very different from what we've seen him in Doctor Who before, and it was quite a serious role, and I, I, I sympathised with him tremendously. And yes, I could sort of see in the, the, the twist that it was gonna, he was going to be uh, somehow connected to the Doctor. Yeah, I liked it the way it played out. And I get very emotional when I think of World War One and World War Two. My great grandfather died in the First World War. And they all showed some sort of connection and I feel very emotional and I love the way it connected up uh, having the Christmas Day uh, connection there. I loved it. And uh, I like the way they brought back Bill and my doll. Just think I didn't really look forward to uh, him being a companion. And then at the end I thought, oh no, one more that one, one more my doll, one more my doll. So it just shows you you've got to Look at things and see it through uh, before you form a proper opinion. But well done to everybody, all the cast. Uh, gonna miss you. And another thing, oh, I don't mean on a down point. But Stephen Moffat seems to have an uh, obsession with death and the afterlife. And the way this was done in Dark Water on the uh, Cybermen. Uh, which was quite fitting that it was a side of main connection. Um, I'll be the cartel, be the farewell. That was good way it's done that, uh, the way that's been done. But also, the 
after life connection, and don't forget Amy and Rory would have become Cybermen uh, in the from the first season. They would have been. They would have been. They would have been. They the dead race. That's sort of like tramples on people's beliefs. So I think we just got to be careful with that. Oh, boy, anyway. So let me know in the comments what you thought of the episode, and do you recommend programmed the time mustn't miss. Yes, how much Doctor Who? Don't miss this. Doctor Who ever, never, ever miss Doctor Who. And she dragged me into it, and I love it. And she did. See, I brought my joke up correctly. <laughs> um, although some of them were a bit. What did you Oh, come on! <laughs> yeah, love it. Love it. Watch Broad Church, so. Welcome to the Vitica. I'm going to watch it and I'm sure I'm going to love it. What yeah. programs do you think I should watch? No doubt you'll say Game of Thrones. You <sighs> <laughs> can't watch Game of Thrones. I'm right. Here. So, this year, roses. Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, next year I will try and do more uh, music videos, although, yes, we have lots of technical difficulties. Uh, lots of comments. Just let me know what you uh, what you think. But I will try and make more money. And um, yeah, I've got the sound of family. My children have deserted me. Oh. As they do. Right. Come on in. Let's just give you our opinion. Yeah, and explain how I'm, you know, leaving. And yeah. I'm still left. I'm still left. Yes, people, I've still left. I've still left. That's just the thing. I'm just visiting the channel. You know, did you really think I was gone forever? I'm just going to appear in collab. Because, you know, I'm um, that kind episode. of person. Oh, right, right, to the episode, to the episode, to the episode. I actually really enjoyed it because it was very amusing how the concepts and all the references build it up. And when I, like, first saw 705 episodes ago, I was like, wait, why are we having a recap of, like, oh... And I liked how it was connected. And may I say, the transitions were done very smoothly and perfection. And I couldn't say, when I got to the Christmas truth, I feel the same with Mum with that having that connection. I actually managed to tear up because in school, I was at, we were doing reenacting, you know, you know, the Christmas truth. And I reenacted the person who put that thing silent life on the English side. And it was just... I love the Christmas truth. It's a wonderful story. One of my like favourite things mashed together. The best Christmas present ever. Apart from other stuff you got me. Yeah. So I was really, yeah, and I, I couldn't be more impressed of how he brought each companion back. And may I say, it was a very good callback, even though Mum hates Clara, it was a very good callback to get Clara back because of Matt Smith, my favourite angel doctor, seeing Amy Pond before he died, and Peter Capaldi seeing Clara. Capaldi, Capaldi I know! Before. What's he see? <laughs> before, before, you know, the doctor died. So, oh, and he also saw Bill and Nardole, and I thought when Nardole jumped, Nardole jumped out, like, from like the jokes and everything, I was happy to see Nardole back, and I was actually surprised. I did not hear any news about Nardole coming back. So you can see my face when he's on the screen. I'm like, ah, he's back, and I yeah. But I enjoyed the first Doctor, and yes, I agree with Mum about the sexism point. It just proves how time developed, and uh, yeah, David Bradley, that dude is just wonderful, may I ask. He is just like, he's perfect to play the first Doctor. Now, closing this up about the regeneration, I have a few points. But yeah, I will miss Peter Capaldi. His final speech... <gasps> Capaldi, I know! Um, I will miss him very much. Peter Capaldi changed people and his Doctor had a story arc, which was very intriguing. From naughty to nice. What? It's true. 
you have to admit that he did go from a story arc to story, you know, naughty till nice. And his final speech. Everyone thought it was going to be, don't forget to subscribe to the Doctor Who YouTube channel. But his final speech, actually, yeah. And you know what I liked most about it? He actually um, broke the fourth wall and dressed the audience. Kids, don't eat pears. And Mum got really annoyed by that. <laughs> but I loved it. it was Kids, a... do eat pears. <laughs> it was a classic reference. But I could say, when I saw him regenerate into a girl, I was like, whoa. Amazing, and like what I felt sorry for Jodie when she could like her introduction is being swung out the TARDIS. TARDIS, I will not forgive you for that. I will never forgive you for that. You may have you may have treated the eleventh Doctor a bit more nicely, but I will never forgive you for kicking her out the TARDIS and nearly killing her. But I should close up now. Thanks for watching. My thoughts are endless. Bye. I will cameo on this channel again, but I have left.